Good morning, Abby. Uh, good morning. Um, would you like to tell us what you're about to demonstrate here? I'm going to demonstrate water marble OBX rocks with this little tiny rock here. And okay, and so what are you using to um, to make your the marbleized rocks? Nail polish that we got at the Dollar Tree. Right. And what what? So how do you do that? Can you show us how how it works? It was Dollar Tree. You get really close to the water and you let it drop. So but it you don't put your nail polish thing in the water. Because you, you want it to expand. Yeah, you see how it expands that? Then you can layer it. If it drops? Yeah, if it drops. Yeah, time is kind of important in that you have to like practice to get, get faster on it. Yes, I'm still not very fast at it. And you can do much um, more involved things, but we are just starting today and we are really happy with the results that we've gotten so far. So after you get your pattern that you want, also here's a tip, you cannot let your nail polish brush touch the water, but you can let the drop touch the water. So as long as the drop can touch the water, it's just the brush can't or else it won't even work at all. So, I'm going to get a very not super complicated design of dots and stuff. And then you're going to take your rock and you're going to select the place, dip it in. And you're going to take a toothpick, which I have right here. Trim off all the edge nail polish and pull it up. And you've got an awesome nail polish OBX rock. Let's see. Okay, so here we are back with I'm Abby, who's going to demonstrate um, a different different technique. It's kind of like the um, like this. This one here. It's or... kind of really by chance though, so it might not work that well. Okay, so let's go quick. <laughs> quick as you can. So again, you can't touch the water with the um, with the brush. And then you want it to expand out like that. If it expands out like that, you're gonna get a lot better coverage on the rock. Sometimes it drops to the bottom. If it drops to the bottom, it will not work at all. So but now you'll... she's layering her colors inside of each other and right now it kind of looks like a uh, oh, an eyeball with a red how about it give us a little yellow in that um, no she's not okay. so you look at what we've got going on here people who are much more experienced um, can swirl it with toothpicks but, but that that's takes hard. a lot of experimenting it's, it's pretty hard. Um, and um, now it almost looks like a solar system but it's a um, fall. Sometimes it messes up because it dries quickly. Yeah. Okay. So then you just dump so it. So don't be sad if that happens. Oh no, my paw got messed up. <clears throat> it's okay. okay. So. Now we're going to watch Ruby as she demonstrates how she makes a nail polish. Um, OBX rocks. This is came from the kindness rocks things. OBX rocks happens to have over 4,000 members right now, but um, in other communities like her own of Lidditz, Pennsylvania, they have um, Lidditz, Lidditz rocks, rocks and they seven also have 717 rocks. But if you look on Facebook, you'll probably find an area in one in yours, uh, in your own area. On the back of it, you post. Um, Facebook and then whatever the oh. oops that's not exactly what's supposed to happen but, but it turned we out. ended up with a pretty rock anyway so you let that dry you can add details with um with markers if you choose to and you can uh, also swirl it around with a you can, toothpick yeah you can swirl it around with a toothpick okay so Evie has got this kind of perfect here this time Hopefully it'll pick up it's, perfect it's really, as well. It's really, really hard. Um, Especially in how much you water You don't drop okay, it into so the water. Are you ready? Not done, not done, you're oh, done, not done quite yet. done yet. She's going to add some yellow to it. 
more. Um, but this one works. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. That's the nice thing about buying dollar store oh, nail polish, water, and rocks. Yeah. That you can get for two ninety five for forty pounds. Yeah. Well, we went to Earthworks and Kitty Hawk for ours, and and that it was really cool. very inexpensive. Um, great thing to do on get, a, um, pick it up from bin ten if you go there. It's the best bin. I think it was bin nine. No, it was bin ten. Let's say did it work? Sort no, of. No, it's bin nine. Bin nine. Sort of. Bin nine. It was bin nine. Okay. It looks very. We messed up. Say. Remember, we messed up and it was bin nine. Okay, so Kana, do you have your rock ready? Yeah. Show us your rock. Okay. Can She's I got a nice tip? big rock. Can I give a tip? Not yet. Not yet. Now Kana's gonna kind of demonstrate how she's going to do her rock. And again, she's they, they these girls live in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. You see, she's got a Warwick um, school um, softball shirt on. I guess it is. And um, they're gonna start hiding these all over the Lidditz area. Um, so if you find one, make sure you post on Facebook that you that you found it, and then you can either rehide it, you can keep it, or you can, you have um, to replace it if you keep it, you replace it with one that you made, or just p find another place to put it, um, and tell your friends about it. Make sure you share share this page, um, I'm doing a certain share this group, getting messy. add your friends. It includes getting messy, which you're supposed to do when you're a kid, and it's summertime especially, and you have to go quick before you, um, before it's, it's, you, it's before okay if it dries, you just don't swirl it. That's a thing. I'm just throwing it that's why. I have two tips. Drip? No, it's not dripping yet. Get some more nail polish on it. So this can be done with, with grown ups get involved, little kids get involved. Anybody can do it. Of as course long you as want you to know not to eat nail polish. Right, that's what I was gonna say. With nail polish you want adult supervision, but you can use other kinds of paints. We always take a um, a spray shellac and um, not too much, sweetie. Yeah. We take a space spray shellac um, yeah. to keep it afterwards to make it shiny and also to keep it from um okay i'm gonna put my rock in okay. it worked all right not supposed to be really anything kind of looks like it kind of looks like the colors of a, a beach ball okay go ahead so, abby has a little tip she wants to share with us so when when you actually have two but when you're doing it and you've been doing it for a while you can see that you have these bubbles and that is Access chemical from the nail polish you want to get a lot of that out especially if there's colored blots in it that you don't want because you don't if you're take you're sticking to a theme of blue and red but you have yellow in there you're gonna add yellow and it's not going it might not be what you want also you um, when you put it in you look at the top design but your the actual design that's going to show is the design that's on the bottom okay and also, um, one thing, if you use a styrofoam bowl, which we started out with, um, the, the nail polish that falls to the bottom of the styrofoam bowl will actually eat through the styrofoam. So you might want to start with something a little bit more standard, sturdy. Okay, we got one more coming up from Kana here. Let's Wait, see what she ends up with. I only did yellow though, Let's so see. I just made it colorful. She just made it colorful, okay. That's okay. a good base coat. You can always okay. use yeah, workers to start with it. Thank you for watching our first DIY tutorial video. Uh, we hope as we get better that we'll be able to make more and show you how to make these just by yourself so you can have beautiful rock art in your homes or out really anywhere hiding them for other people to find. Um, we really want to know what you thought of this video so please comment and just stay tuned.